Welcome back to the abandoned cabin at the lake. We bought this beauty fairly recently and it's been neglected for quite some time. We have been going back and forth about whether or not this cabin is salvageable, if we can keep it, what our options are. And while I think we've come to a conclusion, we're gonna find out for sure in this video if it stays or if it goes. <laughs> And this cabin is known to flood. Look at all this water. That cabin is about to be wrecked. Ah, holy shit! There's the previous owner. Are you scared putting your hands in there? So optimistic, and then that wall was just a disaster. Yep, just as grungy, dark, and smelly as I remember it. I think it's worse, look above your head. If you're new here, you're probably wondering, what is this place? <laughs> This cabin is in some pretty rough condition. It's very water damaged. And very recently we made some interesting discoveries and I cannot wait to share with you where the water's actually coming from. This is a wild project. Shit, that roof is leaking for sure. Oh no! There's mold right mold. there. Look at that's deep water. It's a puddle. Look at it. It's coming right from there and it's wet everywhere wet. Look. To make any real decisions, we need to bring this cabin back to the bones. You missed my epic first shot. My favorite part. <laughs> oh, drywall is so annoying to take off actually. Okay, well, we've started. We got a lot to do. This is gonna be bones. We almost forgot. I haven't forgot, I'm very excited. I forgot. We're dealing with mold, everyone. I don't think I realized, like I was just went in there, I was like, this is, this is a full cabin reno. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That was so fun. <laughs> Can I help you? You're at a drive through window. Here's your coffee. Are you coming? <laughs> we have to be very careful as we walk because look at this, everyone. That's going to put you outside. What are you doing, girl? I'm going to climb the wall <laughs> and kick it. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> I wonder how the mask breathing sounds. <laughs> I do have to say, we have done a lot in a short period of time. Good work. Me too. Quick little refresher. <laughs> Fresh air and some water. Water break, holy smokes. Whew. If you've been here since the beginning of this cabin, we haven't really got much started here yet. The first time we were here, we kind of just cleared everything out underneath the cabin and in the cabin, and we discovered how bad the mold and the water damage was. And then the second time we started tearing back the walls when we discovered that, you know, the bones weren't so bad. And so you're probably wondering if you've been here, what are you girls doing? Just tear it down. For a long time, we really truly considered taking a massive X to this cabin and tearing it down. And that was my dream outcome. Just rip it down and get rid of it, demolish it. Or we were like, you know, a lot of people suggested call the fire department, let's set it on fire, burn it to the ground. We even considered moving the cabin, getting a crane to pick it up and move it away. And then one day we'll work on it and get it away from this wet area. So we thought we got a few opinions and we dove into this cabin a little bit deeper to discover that what it does seem like, and by the end of this video, we will confirm is that the water is actually coming 
from the roof. <laughs> and it appears that it's not quite at a place that we need to scrap the entire thing. It's mostly just the outer materials like the drywall and the walls and the subfloor, that type of stuff. And so far it appears that the bones, the two by four, the actual framing is in good condition. So is the joist underneath the cabin and the foundation. We'll get more into this as time goes on, but what I'm trying to say is that we are pulling up our overalls, we're rolling up our sleeves, and we are going headfirst into this project because we may potentially be saving this cabin. I never thought I'd say that ever. <laughs> But the reality is not only are some of the most important parts of this building still seemingly intact, like the foundation, but it's also in a prime location with a beautiful view. And because we've learned so much about drainage and managing water over the last few years and how to drive an excavator and a tractor, we know that we are qualified to get this water away from the cabin, from the ground and from the roof. Ow, my shit. Lunch break. How are you feeling about the cabin? Really, really good. Yep. How are you feeling about that sandwich, Izzy? <laughs> no, I feel really good about the cabin. I feel like once we get all this stuff out you know all this gross stuff mm -hmm. all the materials and everything away and out of the cabin let it breathe fresh start I should probably wash my face after that lunch <laughs> it's a sticky one <laughs> do you realize we're like one week away from black flies don't talk to me about them they're really coming out to play though you can see them fly flying around do you remember how good it felt to itch them mm, yeah we're a little kind of craving it weird this is like the perfect break spot too i love it i know i love our priorities go for a swim What's on the menu this month, Izzy? Chicken. Thank you to Sundays for sponsoring this week's video. And in this household, Sundays is a crowd favorite. Are you willing for Sundays? It is a human grade, air dried dog food that is 90% meat, 10% superfoods, and 0% synthetics. We brought them to the vet not too long ago to get a pretty intensive health check. And that's just because they are senior dogs and they passed with flying colors. Some of the other changes we noticed when switching to a whole foods diet was better breath, better coat, and just better mobility. And this is a topic I am super passionate about is healthy food for dogs and them living the longest possible because we all know they're not here for long enough. Sundays is only one of two foods available in all of the United States that is real food, no fillers. That's a pretty mind blowing statistic. If you've ever been interested in feeding fresh food to your best friend, Sundays is the perfect way to start. It's just so easy. They're on a mission to become the world's healthiest and the world's most convenient dog food. And that's because there's no mess, there's no prep, there's no refrigeration required, and your dog is going to love it. As you can tell, we're over overjoyed to be sharing Sundays with all of you and Sundays is offering our audience 50% off your first order. Use code FAMWIVES and click the link in the description. We're back in demo mode. Guess who just went through the floor? Oh my gosh, you, you look so scared your face. Oh my gosh, that was scary. <laughs> I had no idea what was happening. I knew, I knew. I kept telling you, be careful of the hole, be careful of the hole. Don't forget there's a hole in the corner. I knew I was gonna go through it because I kept forgetting about it. <laughs> Boot went right, right through. Cats? Yeah, we gotta run plumbing. I like that door. Okay, we're gonna have Considering where we started this morning, I'm very happy with how quickly this is coming down. We've now officially torn back half of the main room, the first bedroom, 
and the bathroom. <laughs> You're probably thinking, still, what the heck? And you can't see the vision. But if you've seen our first cabin reno, which I know so many of you have been with us since the cabin journey and the van journey, just wait and see. It's time to turn rubbish into a little slice of paradise. We're gonna sleep like babies tonight after this. I can't wait. That's a good workout. My arms are like <laughs> slowly falling, by the way. Same. I think I need some water. But like, honestly, everyone, check out this. You can see right through. And because we're starting from scratch in here, all we're going to have is the structural walls, so the outside walls, which means the layout is our oyster. So if you have any ideas for how we should design this, please let us know, especially if you have like expertise in all this, because I feel like engineers just... They just know how to put things together, you know? Should we keep the kitchen over here? Should we keep that a bedroom? Should we keep that a bathroom? Should we keep the stairs there? Or should we put the stairs all the way over there? And remember, if I'm standing here, I'm looking at the lake and then the river's on the right hand side. We're now on the kitchen, everyone. Yeah, girl. Oh, it's a tubing, you have any saws? Just, it will come right off, yeah. Ew. <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> that was my custom kitchen. I'm honestly shocked we haven't really found anything in the walls yet. I know it probably will be up here more, I think. I don't know though. But like, aren't you kind of shocked? A little bit, but we really haven't uncovered that much, like you said. Should we remove this? Oh, that's a window. Imagine I smashed the window out, what? The first cut is the deepest. Oh, Bella and Izzy, I love ya. You girls are the best doggies anyone could ever ask for. This is very fun. You gotta pee? I gotta pee for you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that wall. Looks so different already. Empty. It looks really good. I We've can... done a lot of work. I know, we're almost done all the walls in the floor. First floor? First floor. Oh, we have two stories in this house. Bella's hangry. Well, <laughs> it makes sense because Bella just had this entire <laughs> loaf of bread in her mouth. Can you imagine tomorrow? The first of all, a full week's worth of PB&J sandwiches for these working gals. Tomorrow we would have been like, peanut butter, jelly, Bread. Where's the bread? <laughs> she was in her getaway car and Jasmine caught her. Anywho. No, no, oh, oh, out. Oh. It's danger in here. We love you. We miss you. <laughs> Hi, Bear. Tomorrow, my little friend. The delivery driver. You look familiar. Do you have a podcast <laughs> or a YouTube channel? You might have seen my face on YouTube. Thanks. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not gonna lie. After yesterday, that was a long day of hard work. And I was wrecked. Well, that cabin is about to be wrecked. Cause I'm pumped. This is so sick. Bella, we got you a present. Big trash bin. What do you think, Bella? Doesn't care. If anyone's wondering how it is to breathe in one of these, let's just say if you have claustrophobia, it's not that fun. How many jelly beans in the jar? How many bags of insulation in the bin today? I'm gonna guess 22. What's yours? 21, just so I can beat you. How is it so far, wall number one? A little bit of... We can't hear you, oh. Bird seed. Bird seed, eh? Oh my god, there's a bird! Gotcha! Yeah. Holy shit! Gotcha. <laughs> she got me all right. <sighs> I'm 
coming out to get a little breather right now. Obviously we have mold, rotted walls, some bird seed, and a lot of gross stuff in those walls. But something we just discovered is the cabin is made with two by six framing, which is super great because when you insulate a house in Canada, you need a certain R value. Nowadays you have to do two by sixes or you have to do spray foam or beef out your two by four walls to make them two by six, which is a lot of extra work and framing. And we have two by six walls and they're looking pretty good. This side over here definitely has some icky spots I haven't seen around yet because Crystal is still making her rounds taking out the pink insulation. Twelve. Okay, Crystal is going to get a change of clothes. The insulation is completely done on the first level of the cabin. Woo! Remember that mess we left the other day, everyone? Gypsum! So we should probably get that cleaned up before we have an even bigger mess and we're tripping all over. Might need to get a bigger brim. Wow, look at this big, bright space. Do you want to start with the good or the bad? Let's start with the good. Like Jasmine said, we have two by six framing, which is so sweet, but everything looks really well built and really sturdy. We are uncovering the problem areas and the rest. Like this back wall, for example, is looking really good. We've got officially all of the windows open in here and the fresh air flowing through here. It just, I'm looking at the lake too. I'm like, it just looks prettier. <laughs> it doesn't take much to like get me excited about a project. Taking all of that wall and all that insulation out, I'm excited. And now the bad. Looks like there is some holes in the roof and the water, as Jasmine also pointed out to me, because I didn't think of this, is running down and then coming down the walls. So this area is really wet over here in the front corner of the house. Some of the wall framing has gone bad. When it rains, it rains in here. As we get closer and closer and closer to the roof, which <laughs> we're still a little bit of a ways away from that, we're gonna see just how bad that side of the house is. And how much we have to replace <laughs> or if it's worth replacing. I know a lot of you are really good at building, so from looking at it now, let's all have our new set of glasses on, not from the first time when we didn't know anything. Let's put the new glasses on everyone that we're seeing it right now. How do you think it looks? I know the subfloor is really bad, but just a couple sheets of plywood. I think what I'm most happy to see is that the two by six framing the vertical pieces that run up and down along all around the house behind us here are in good condition. That is happy feelings for me. Oh, also all the windows are leaking. So originally we thought that the water was coming up, but that's not the case. No, we're wrong. We're so wrong. So wrong. The water is coming from the windows and the roof. Yes, the river has come up and flooded a lot, very close to the cabin, but that can be done with simple landscaping and drainage and all of that fun stuff in excavators. Clearly our issue is rain here. <laughs> One of those things where if you say to yourself, it's kind of like a game, it gets done faster. Yes. All right, everyone, we're starting at the top triangle. Yikes. Just kidding. Before we get the top triangle off, we need to get off the planks of wood here and here to make it a lot easier to take off that triangle because the drywall is wet and icky and stuck in the wood. Ugh. Would you look at this beam, eh? There's the previous owner. I knew this corner was gonna be 
So delicious. <laughs> no, so eating styrofoam for real. That was the top of the triangle, everyone. It is completely soaking wet. Are you scared putting your hands in there? I can tell it's dead. It's just like so gross. I think it's safe to say none of the windows were installed properly. They are all leaking water and everything around it has molded. But especially the hexagon window up there. Bad. All right, everyone, back wall is gone. Look what I uncovered. We have tongue and groove, wood, and then we have drywall underneath. That is worse, hysterically, and so ironically, way worse than our very first cabin. Also, how funny is it that we just were like, yeah, like we see all the potential, and then. So optimistic, and then that one wall was just a disaster. It's full of mold. And mice, Animals and food and that we don't eat, and it's not even fully done. We still have the styrofoam on the right hand side, right? Sorry, I don't want to remind you, you seem like you're in a daze looking at the lake right now. <laughs> I'm trying to just black out everything behind me. <laughs> <laughs> don't eat styrofoam. I just got the most of that pile of styrofoam, squirrel food cleaned up. I feel so gross. <laughs> and that was just wicked. Whoa. Hopefully there's not too much more of that. Wow. It's not so bad when you're in it and you're doing it. It's more of the like after. Like after I'm like, okay, get this off me. <laughs> Put me in a shower, clean me off, hose me down. <sighs> Throw me in the lake. <laughs> this is as good as it's gonna get this week. And when we get to that roof, we're gonna know a lot more. <laughs>